You look fabulous, blah, 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 blah. I have seven minutes, I'm gonna get right down to it. I'm not gonna ask you, did you have fun? I'm not gonna ask you about your experience. I wanna know, will you be hosting Michelle's season? <laughs> I would like to know too. I was gonna say, I would love to know I that. would love to be a part of, I, I think we would both love to be a part of Michelle's season. 100%, we had a blast this past season and yeah. I don't think it would take away from the next one. So no, I'm let's just get back Michelle. into it. Yeah. Yeah, I think you guys would be great. Like the feedback has been so good from the first episode and I know it's only going to continue throughout the rest of the season. So congratulations on that. Thanks. If Ray. given the opportunity, would you be permanent host? Oh, why have I not thought about this? I, you know, this is the thing. I'm just taking one step at a time, yeah. day by day. It was already a big deal for us to be on Katie's. So I haven't really given it much thought. I haven't either. I'm like, I, it was so fun to be able to relate. Well, it was so fun to be able to relate to Katie and know that we've been in the same position. Absolutely. So I don't know how it'll work. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> Are you asking us? Because yes. <laughs> yeah, we, we accept. Yeah. I mean, who would say no? Honestly, who would say no? Let's know. just be for real. That's true. Okay, let's get let's get into Katie's season because you guys are in such a unique position. You've been contestants, you've been leads, and now you're advising slash hosting this season. With Katie, I know that she's given you guys a lot of credit um, for how you helped her get through the season. And there's one point in the trailer where we see her say like, she's done, she's out of here, book her flight home. But she credits you guys. And we we all know we have those moments, by the way. Right? Yes. Every, every lead has I was like, moments. relatable. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> But she credits you guys to bringing her back and to giving her the advice to make her stay. What is it that you said to reassure her to make her want to stay? I think it was just nice for her to know that we all felt that same way at some point Absolutely. through our seasons. So I think just hearing us be like, we've been there. We totally understand where you're coming from. It's really hard. You're drained in every way possible. Yeah. We know, but... We're here to support you. You're going to have these days, ups and downs, but you got to get through it. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you just think it's really easy. You find the love of your life and you just go through <laughs> yeah. it without any like twists and turns. And the fact that we were able to say like, we've both been there. I yeah. think she took that to heart and was like, okay, so they I'm not going it. crazy. We if, can like, do it. I'm going to recommit myself. Yeah. And so she gave it a shot. I, I read that one of the things that you said to her was, to surrender herself to the process. And I thought that was so beautifully said because that's so true. Did you have to keep reassuring her that like, you gotta just let yourself fall? Yeah. I th that's the one thing I told her to do. Yeah, I think it was just more of like reassuring her through the whole way of doing that. And and again, just, I, I know Rachel, like for you personally, wouldn't you, you love to have two other people who had been in your position there to help guide you through your emotions and see kind of like, see it from an outsider perspective who's also been in your shoes. Yeah, so right. I think we just had to reassure her through the whole season that all of her feelings were valid. Yeah, it's a very lonely process. So to be with people who've gone through it is, yeah. is really a game changer, to be honest. I'm yeah. a little jealous. I know I was too. I am too. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So we, it's also, maybe it's like a behind the scenes secret that usually the ladies know their top four or five from the first night from the get go. With you guys, did you see who Katie was gravitating to from the beginning? Yeah, I would say so. I think women's intuition is always pretty bang on. So I yes. feel like not only did she maybe, she didn't like say it out loud, like this is my top four or anything, but she, she knows who she's like initially has that spark with. And I think something else we told her was to also not rule anyone out. So, yeah, you know, the, sometimes spark, sparks take a little longer to fly. Or she would like mention somebody's name multiple times throughout like <laughs> yeah. our conversations would be like, hmm. <laughs> Are you telling us something? Yeah. She's like, no, I'm just trying to figure it out. Like, yeah. okay. And and what were those names? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, You're gonna have to watch. <laughs> Tune in. Okay, fine. <laughs> well, was there anybody who was there for the wrong reasons? Always. Whew. <laughs> You know, I think we're going to get into that pretty soon here. Yeah. I, I, there I, always is. Yeah, I feel like it wouldn't be The Bachelor or The Bachelorette if there wasn't one person there for the wrong reasons. I would have to agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and did she find love? Because I can't remember. What was his name again? Oh, 
Shoot. Are you trying to get us again? I don't know. It is early. Well, there. What? She's good. I haven't had my coffee yet, but I'm sharp <laughs> enough to know. I have. I so have no I am, idea. Yeah. <laughs> is she happy? She yeah. is very happy. Yeah. She's. She's okay. like a strong. She is confident, secure woman, and so I think no matter what she does, she's always happy, yeah. and she's just. I don't know. Comfort well, we'll see her be unhappy too in the season, but yeah, <laughs> she's good. She's good. What do you think will surprise us this season? Because like, here we are, we've seen so many. What's something that you think will stand out to the viewers? That's a good question. Maybe like the men's vulnerability. I think the men are super vulnerable, but also how confident Katie is. And she's not afraid to be like, walk out that door yeah, right yeah. now and like <laughs> actually let me excuse you because I know you're not here for the right reasons yeah. and I'm not wasting my time. So I think you're going to see her kind of be as a little yeah. firecracker. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's kind of, it's different. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you guys seem very happy too. Are we wedding planning? Big, small. <laughs> Have we started? You know what's funny? Yes? No. You know what's so funny is I always wanted a small wedding and Jason wants a big wedding. That's, and now yeah. that we honestly just wrote out our family. I'm like, and it's going to be a big wedding. So (laughs) it's big, bigger, I guess for us. (laughs) You can't help it. I was going to say it's the first test of marriage to compromise and have a medium sized wedding, but it's going to be big. It's going to be big. (laughs) It's going to be big. It'll be big. You can't help it. Okay. Ladies. So good to catch up with you. Uh, you. Beautiful. You're doing a fantastic job. Thank Thank you. you. So good to see you. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.